Goody, everybody. Welcome back to Visual Novel Fridays, finally. Oh, man. 
This one's gonna be, a, I think this one's gonna be a good one. This is my first time playing this. This is the first I've heard about it too. We are playing a game called World End Syndrome. Uh, I heard there's like actual game elements in it too. So uh, I'm interested in seeing that. But hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Shout outs to all the viewers. Thank y'all for stopping by. I see Jay. I see Peach. I see Potter. I see Melodic. Hey guys, how's it going? Also, thank you for that host, Peach. I appreciate that oh uh, man but uh yeah this is gonna be my this is my uh first playthrough of this game and thank you for that host po potter uh about to go see a doctor oh damn bro hope it goes well really hope that goes well i think the song is over it sure is all right not gonna do too much not gonna do too much talking we're just gonna get right into it because i really want to try i really want to see what this is about yep there it is World and Central. Do a new game. All right. What we got going on here? I'll be on the lookout because, uh, you know, anime intros tend to have DMCA music. What we got? World End. Seems to be something else down there. Looks like it's in another. I don't know what language that is. And there's voice acting. Sweet. <laughs> I'm dying out here, man. Oh man. Dude, I hope I hope things go well with the doctor, uh, Melodic. Hope you're feeling better. Hope you feel better. Mihate town. Cursed? Damn. Oh man, what's going on? Is it an outbreak? We got a pandemic? No, I'm kidding. Let me stop. We don't, we don't need to joke about that. June 1st. At dusk with the signs of an impending rainy season. Somebody's calling out to me. I just hope it's a sinus infection. Uh, yeah, I feel under the weather too. Winter sucks though. Yeah, winter does blow. Minus Christmas. Winter sucks. Uh, hope you got. Hope everybody's. Uh, you know, just staying safe out there. And if and if people are getting sick out there, I really hope you guys feel better soon. Oh, hello. My name is Protag. That's a fine start. <laughs> I don't know. Do I? Hmm. Mihate Town. Mihate. So... Oh, wait. Does he have voice acting, too? Oh, damn. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, huh? I rub my hands against my sleepy eyes. I feel like I'm still swaying in a dream. I don't even recognize where I am. Kimi? I'm healthy, but I'm going crazy. Just stock up on vitamins and drink pr plenty of water. Hey, that's true. That voice brings me back to reality. Oh, shit. Oh, I like the, uh... I like the visuals. I really I like the visuals just like seeing the the train ride in the background and amidst the golden sky that's a song I made by the way you should check it out <laughs> uh enough with the all right enough with the plug she grimaces apparently Im it apparently imitating the way I looked <laughs> oh, she got jokes. Alright, let me see something here. What button is to, uh... Alright, that's the backlog. That's the menu. Okay, uh, let's see. Options. Uh, auto play speed? Nah, we don't need that. I don't think we'll need that. Let's see, change text color. BGM, we'll turn that down. I want to hear the voices more. And the sound effects down too. I'm guessing movie volume is for cutscenes. 
Do you skip back low? Okay, yeah. And you X button. Auto play is the L button. Skip is the R button. All right. Keep my hand. I'll keep my fucking fingers away from R. And it auto and it saves automatically. Good. 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 Oh. Yeah. Um, no. Well, I guess he has a voice too. I guess I'll just read his uh inner thoughts. I'll be his subconscious. My heart's been beating extremely fast. Let me take a look at my stream real quick. Looks pretty good so far. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Peach answering Nightbot there. Hey. Or maybe you feel sick? She looks into my face, and I turn away reflexively. My heart skips a beat. Oh, come on, bro. How's the volume, by the way, guys? Is it good? You hearing everything okay? Kimi. Mihate Town. A lot of talk about Mihate Town. Hmm. Awkward silence. Best conversation of all time, bro. Even she, <laughs> even she fucking pointed it out. With a kawinky dink. Yeah, no, right? Like, put the fucking man pants on, bruh. Maybe we should go together? That's the perfect fucking line right there. She's hot. This nigga's just like, I, um, well, uh, um, how embarrassing. Uh. Alright, let me stop. <laughs> Nah, I think he's just dense. She sits up straight. Good to meet you too. Oh, the train. Twilight travel? A. The Twilight Zone? Let me stop. That theme could be DMCA. Legends, huh? I like it, Kaji. Thank you for the biddies, Peach. The Yomibito? The fuck is a Yomibito? A Yomi Bito sounds like a Japanese roly poly oly. Or roly poly. Roly poly oly is, is an old Playhouse Disney show. Not too many people remember that. <laughs> this year? Oh shit. The dead? The fuck is this? A zombie apocalypse? What is this, anime World War Z? Yukino Otanashi looks into my eyes. I'm unable to say anything in response, you fucking wimpy bitch. Her smile blurs and spit, splits in two, then overlaps to become one again. Is it a legend? Is it, bro? だから in some cases, she ain't wrong, but, you know. Alex with the cameo. Hopping on Smash. Let's see, I'm guessing, uh... He's either doing some training, or he's about to run some sets with Clueless in the gang. Shout out to all the viewers, by the way. Hope y'all are having a good Friday. Hmm. Hell no! You know, she has lovely eyes. That's why she's so cute. 
顔も知らないみんなが読んでくれるんだよ。Oh, really? 一生忘れない仕事になる気がしてる。She's a journalist. そう。I see. なんだか私喋りすぎだね。君が相手だと、なんでだろう。止まらなくなっちゃうね。Oh no, keep talking. Feel free. Trust me, I'm a good listener. Like literally, I am. Like if you if you ever want to talk, if you ever want to just talk about something, just let your mind wander. Go ahead and talk to me. I'll listen. And thank you for that host, Dank. I appreciate that, bro. She'd probably talk anyone's ear off, not just mine. I have no fucking clue. She points at the brochure in my hand. What's good, Dank? Good to see you, fam. Her eyes bear down on me once again. Embarrassed, I quickly turn away. Oh shit, we're transferring. We're gonna be. We're gonna be the new guy. Gonna go. Gonna walk in that fucking school door, bro. All chatly and shit. Bitches on both arms. No, I'm kidding. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. I couldn't even do that in high school in real life. What am I fucking talking about? My family, huh? まあいいけどさ、初対面なのに失礼だよね。で、それにしては荷物が少ないけど。あ、物を置くの。Not much back to shiny rating for the Dynamax Adventures. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good, bro. Just got home, got home from work about a little while ago. Worked on some, got another song finished, and now streaming. 部屋とかも殺風景なタイプね。Your room is, oh. So, hey, that's less shit to clean up, you know? Wait, what? Huh? Why? What, you mean like slowly dying? What the fuck? I mean... What the hell? Oh. Oh shit. We're going there, huh? Oh. Uh. Oh, that's interesting. See. Posters, huh? Shit. Kimi. <gasps> you playing? Oh man, you <laughs> you playing COD? Oh shit! Hope the games go well, bro. Oh, I think our stop is here. Oh, it's a tunnel. Oh, we're almost there, though. Yo, I like this visual, though. Pretty cool. Um, look at that. Look at that sunset, bro. It's a nice view. Oh, shit. It, oh, fuck. Oh. Damn it. Oh, shit. Uh. Uh, that might be DMCA. That might be DMCA. I'm a, I'm a just all right. Okay. Brand new world. Yeah, that's definitely fucking DMCA. Are we good? Are we good? Did we skip it? I don't fucking know if we did. Okay, yeah, we did. All right, we back. Good. Bro, <laughs> you never know what these we you never know what these anime ops. A lot of shit could get flagged for DMCA with these. Yeah, that was a close one. I had to make a bunch of fucking weird ass noises over it. Let back. Hey, what up, Flamezer? Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> you heard that, huh? All right. The area in front of the... Oh, hold on. Did I miss something? No, that's the menu. There's a small square past the ticket gate. 
The area in front of the station is more open than I expected. A few students and businessmen are coming to the station. New life, huh? Oh, there we go. I turn around to see Yukino Otanashi standing nearby. Yukino. We can remember names. She nods excessively. Oh, wait, don't leave me yet. I w uh, okay. She pats me on the shoulder and leaves with a bright smile. I place my hand over the spot on my shoulder where she touched, where she touched me, and watched her walk away. I feel like I'm still asleep, or just dozing off. I feel strange, like I've been bewitched by a fox. Now that I'm alone, the realization that I've arrived in town starts to fully hit me. Once I've snapped back to reality, I look around the station square. Indeed. I mumble the words she said, and a smile comes to my face for some reason. A new life. Hmm? Whatever. Damn. Just straight. Just so dismissive. Just fuck it. <laughs> suddenly, the traffic flow in front of the station suddenly comes to a halt. Huh? I feel someone staring at me intently. I always feel like. No, I can't. God damn it, bro. Fuck the MCA. I can't make these musical references that I want to. God damn it. Fuck you, DMCA. A girl is standing under a light post a short distance away. Whoa. What the hell is up with her eye? She stands still, as if trying to blend into the dusk. Staring at me. Damn, bro, we ju literally just set foot into town and there's already somebody stalking my ass, trying to kill me. Possibly trying to kill me. It's... It's like she's accusing me of something. I can't move a muscle. She slowly raises her right hand. Her hand slowly rises to cover half of her expo expressionless face. Her left eye gleams sharply, capturing my entire body. My breathing becomes shallow. Oh, shit. Fucking bats. A bat flies just past my head, missing me by an inch. I involuntarily cringe. When I look back at that lamppost, the girl is gone. As if she'd never been there or had been a mirage. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Rather, who the hell was that? When I look up at the sky, the stars are already shining above me. Evening falls on the town. It's slow, as if the entire world is winding down. Oh, man. Somebody's a bit down in the dumps. Oh, that's just the title. Okay. That was just the title. I thought we had more, more fucking copyright music. Thank God. Saving system data? Alright. Save. Alright. To the world's end. It's like our story is about to begin. They were good days. Yes, they have been good days. Curtain by Agatha Christie. Oh shit, tips? Oh, they give you like little facts. Sazanami Street, the town's main shopping district situated near the ocean. You can find anything you'll ever need here, and if you can't find it, you probably didn't need it anyway. The sound of the waves in the distance is soothing. I take a fork leading away from Sazanami, Sazanami Street and arrive at a plateau. Oh, more, more facts. The mansion. 
Situated at the top of a hill in Mihate Town, this mansion is owned by the protagonist's uncle. With a modern design, the view from the outdoor porch is a must-see. The main character lives here while attending Mihate High School. I eventually see a building, draped in the darkness of the evening. This is my uncle's mansion. This will be my home from now on. A little large for one person to live in alone, but I'll get used to it. Mihate Town. A small coastal town of about 8,000 people. Small? That's not really that small, but... I guess it just depends on the region. Sitting between two capes, this town it was considered to be a summer resort long ago. With many prominent families keeping mansions here, however... However, as the influence of the Kamishiro family grew, the tourism subsided, and even now the beautiful beaches are off limits to swimmers. Wow. So because one bougie-ass family came in and brought most of the land, niggas can't even go have fun at the beach. Or, like, in some certain places. That's some bullshit, dude. Fuck me. Let me keep that next line to myself. Miate Town. I'll be living here on my own in this empty... Little town. Hmm? For a moment, a strong breeze brushes by my cheek. I turn away. Let me make sure my audio is good. Hello? Alright, we're good. Let me just... Alright, shit. Mm -hmm. There we go. The sea enters my view. What is that? There's a black dot moving by the lighthouse. When I squint at it, it stops moving. I stare at it for a while, but it doesn't move a bit. I must be fucking tired. I take the key I'd been given out of my pocket. What is this game? This game is called World End Syndrome. I have no idea. This is my first time playing it. When I open the front door, I find myself looking into a fairly large entryway. I step inside to take my shoes off and discover another pair of shoes lying there as if unceremoniously kicked off. It's a pair of women's pumps? I suppose. They must have been left behind by a previous visitor. I place my own shoes neatly among the wall and look around the dim room. I grope for the light switch along... <laughs> I grope. <laughs> That's quite the term there. Uh, there it is, right next to the front door. I find the switch and flip it on. Whoa. The living room is quite large, but that wasn't the reason for my reaction. There is trash everywhere. Potato chip bags, empty bottles, and fashion magazines are scattered on the floor. The woman who used this place previously must have been a world-class slob. I feel the need to clean, but I want to unload my luggage first. I've been told to use the bedroom on the second floor. I stand in the center of the living room and look around. The stairs up to the next floor are in front of me. They're made of wood and have no handrail, almost like a ladder. Start going up the I start going up the stairs when I hear a jangling sound coming from the back of the living room. What the fuck was that? It's a wind chime. I want this game so bad now? Nice. Uh, there's a large enclosed porch on either side of the living room. The lights of the town are spread out below. Beyond them, the sea is descending into the night. I think I can see all of Mihate Town from here. There are patio tables and chairs here. There's a lamp on top of the icebox. And... Must be one of those kinds with sensors that turn on when it gets dark. The dining table is on the other side of this uh, patio, and the kitchen is beyond that. The bathroom seems to be on that side, too. Uh, the laundry machines must be installed over there as well. I see a fan, a set of couches, and other furniture, but something seems to be missing. There ain't no damn TV! In the city, I mainly use my TV as a stand-in for a clock, so not having one isn't a particularly huge issue for me. I suddenly notice a radio sitting on top of the table. Radio. wonder if it works. I pick it up. 
and to and check to confirm that it has batteries in place. Then I take it and head for the bedroom upstairs. There's a single bed and a wide desk. This was originally a guest room, so it's minimally furnished. But it's still a rather large room. Seems kind of luxurious for a student like myself. Put my luggage down without turning on the light and head back down with the radio in my hand. I cut through the living room and go out onto the porch. Are you about to listen to some tunes? I place the radio on a side table. When I hit the power switch, sound starts to play. It does work. Uh-oh. Is that an... Uh, could that possibly be an Amber Alert? Uh-oh. That's bad. 17-year-old student. Hmm. Female DJ. Well, there's the title drop. World End Syndrome, a radio program that began in the previous year, inspired by Kaori Yamashiro's World End, touching on art, philosophy, and spiritualism, and hosted by Hikaru, Su Hikaru Sukioka. The show is popular among young audiences. It airs every weeknight, Monday through Friday. The show does not seem to be a live program. The end of the world, World End Syndrome. Hello, Hikaru. Your voice is very soothing. A mysterious yet gentle voice flows from the radio. See, Yukino was saying that same shit. <laughs> Nick with the cameo logging into Street Fighter. So it is a zombie out. So it is a zombie apocalypse. The Yomi Bito. Yomi Bito are resurrected spirits that return to Mihate Town and cause misfortune. It is said that the Yomi Bito loses its sanity at the end of the summer, which is why it begins killing people around that time of year. Oh no. That's some fucked up shit. I've been wondering about it since minute one. I wonder what, what fate though. Hmm. Did niggas do bad shit here? Or is this town just cursed? This town attracts death. Well, then why did I move here? Is there anyone in particular you would like to see resurrected? Wow. That is quite a strong question. The Yomi Bito Legend In old tradition in Mihate Town, once every 100 years, one or more dead people revive as Yomi Bito and cause misfortune within the town. This year is the 100th anniversary of the last known occurrence. Whew, man. The Yomi Bito legend, once every 100 years, the dead come back to life. I close my eyes, seeing an elegant silhouette behind my eyelids. As the shape becomes more and more defined, I feel a trembling in my soul. 
I feel someone peering at me from the dimly lit space outside the open window. I squint into the darkness. The voice on the radio chuckles as if the speaker is watching me right now. Jesus Christ, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, and trust me, if that was me, I would have been running. Fuck that. <laughs> Shouldn't go chasing after death. A fresh scent invades my nose. Ooh, that's a nice visual there. In the summer sunlight, the, sw the waves push and pull at the coastline. I'm rocking alone in a cradle created by gravity. I must be dreaming. Oh. If this is a dream, I don't want to wake from it. I don't want to go back to the real world at all. I want this scent to embrace me as I slumber. This scent. This gentle scent. A tray with the cameo on Uno. Hmm. My hopes are rejected outright. I'm pulled right back into the darkness of the real world. What time is it? I must have fallen asleep after turning off that radio and lying down on the bed. Only the sound of the ticking clock tickles my ears. I protest this for a while, keeping my eyes shut against the world. It doesn't stop me from waking up, though. That's odd. I still smell that fragrance I noticed in my dream. A soft smell surrounding me, caressing my cheeks and hair. It's... I shift my body slightly, and suddenly I feel something soft beneath my palm. Mm hmm? I try squeezing a little. Whatever I'm grasping is yielding. But resistant. It feels good, is he? Is that what I think it is? I'd better open my eyes for this. Darkness fills my peripheral vision. It takes a while before my eyes become accustomed to the low light. <laughs> yes, sir. I knew it. I called it, bro. I fucking called it. Ah, uh, yes. Could this be? I know what you're thinking, a. Hey. <laughs> I I've seen a, I've seen and played enough of this shit to know where that goes, to know where that's going. I slowly begin making out a silhouette. What the? A sleeping girl's face is right in front of mine. <laughs> Unfamiliar girl's sleeping face fills my vision. What the? <laughs> Nigga, I wouldn't make too much noise if I was you. I roll off the bed and jump right up. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> this is such a cliche. Hey. It's the best cliche, bro. Who the hell is this girl? This is a mystery that will have to be revealed in the morning. I lean against the wall and try really hard to return to my dream. Well, on the floor it is. Alright, let's save again. Ah, morning. So Oh. Damn, am I getting snitched on? Oh shit. We're cousins? Oh, god damn, bro. Well, rest in peace dating option. Unless we're going unless we're going Alabama route, bro. But, let me, let me just say, 
Let me just say something. Let me just say something uh, right now, bro. Let me just say something right now, bro. There is the off chance that we are not related by blood, even though we're cousins. Let me stop. Let me, let me stop. I'm about to say some fucked up shit. I need to stop. <laughs> what? Are you doing? I need to stop. Oh my god, I was about to say literally the worst thing I've ever said in my life. <laughs> Whose kid is he? Uncle's wife's sister? Well, aren't you a selfish little brat? Oh my god, well, so far... We have not made the best first impression, even though we've hardly made a first impression. Well, I think we already did make our first impression by a little bit of a, uh, you know. <laughs> All right. She hangs up her phone, clearly upset, and glares at me. Here we go. Well, hello there. Good to meet you, too. I never heard there'd be someone here already, either. S sorry. Yeah, I don't think it works like that. I was just trying to be nice. Uh, no. I mean... The fuck you mean somebody like me? Oh, oh, damn, oh. This is not going well. Uh, now you care. Huh? Didn't he tell you just now? Can I? Can I? Am I allowed to name myself? She's really short-tempered. Yeah, no shit. Night cre- Damn. This is one of the first girls we meet. And I don't like her. Uh, she's the one who creeped on me, but I can see myself getting a punch to the fucking face if I tell her that. Hi, my name is A. Oh, there we go. All right, so in true, I think this is in a uh, Japanese style naming system. So I'm going to put my last name first. Uh, wait. Oh, fuck. I don't think I have enough. I don't think it's enough characters to do my last name. Is it? Yeah, nope. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Uh, where's the backspace? All right, just delete. I'll just put, I'll just go with plan B. JR. Uh. Do, 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 do. Fuck. Uh. Put the, the, the. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait, no, I guess not. Never mind, never mind. Alright, let me try, let me, oh, fucking hell. Get back over here. I was thinking they were gonna do it like traditional, uh, Japanese style with the way this thing is set up here. Uh, switch name, uh, get rid of that shit. We'll just go with Debo Jr. since D since Reynolds is too long. Debo Jr. Yep, there it is. Eh? <laughs> Who's that? Never heard of you. Yeah, well, I never really heard of you either. Are you my- are you really my cousin? I mean, I guess. That's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> oh my god, this girl, dude. Uh, that's also what I'm supposed to say, I think. But I hold it in. Yeah, you might want to. 
遠い親戚ってことなのかもしれないけど。Lovers Mr. Wait, I'm a dude, aren't I? That's not really what he said, is it? Nani, yo, so no han ko t e k i n a t a i d Why the. <laughs> um, apparently I was here with my parents about 10 years ago. You name my. なんかそんなことあったかも。ああ、そっか。おじいちゃんが亡くなったときに。Damn. Yeah, and I was still little, so I don't really remember much. There were a lot of relatives, and us kids were just playing. そんな記憶ちょっとある。You would vaguely forget about the important shit? Hey, Jalen with the cameo for Street Fighter. Logging into Street Fighter there. I see you. You were here too? Oh, now you want to forget. Okay. 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 I remember it. I remember having trouble fitting in with the group. Damn. Just like in real life. No, I'm kidding. Let me stop. <laughs> oh, but I also recall a really bossy ass girl. I mean, you were the one who jumped to conclusions, so if anybody should do the ass kicking, it should be me. No, I'm kidding. Let me stop. Ah, <laughs>、uh, I mean, sorry. And then you just admit it. God damn it, you weak bastard. Uh, yep, he was about to do it again. But hold it. I was about to say sorry again, but I hold it in at the last second. ちょんづけやめて気持ち悪いから。Ew, don't say, oh, mind me like that.、Oh. Uh, yeah, alright. Mihate High School. A private high school surrounded by natural greenery. Its large campus accommodates a number of different activity clubs. And it even boasts its own outdoor pool and baseball field. Ooh. The facilities are equipped with a library housed in a separate building. The school's uniform is well known for its cute style, and because of this, over 70% of the students attending the school commute by train from out of town. Okay. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Great. I'm a junior. Oh, so we're the same age. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm just trying to be nice, girl. God damn. You don't gotta be so fucking hostile. No, I mean, if we're in the same grade, I'll feel better with you around, Miss Mimi. Well, uh, I was trying to be formal now. Fuck. Well, uh, me... Nigga, just say her name. Mimi, they eat, Kara. With a cousin like you around, Mimi. I was thinking about going starting tomorrow, on Monday. I didn't ask. I won't. And you were the. Once again, I would like to point out that you were the one who walked into the fucking room to sleep. Not knowing I was there. You were the one who got into bed with me. Um, about that. Your bedroom's the one up the stairs, right? Isn't it? How did you get that wrong? Drunk ass. What? You drank alcohol? I've never heard of no damn whiskey bonbon. 
Sounds like you. Sounds like you did it voluntarily. <sighs> so you're a lightweight. Good to know. Ah. <sighs> Sounds like you were wasted. How many did you eat? You mean to tell me she got shit bucketed off of a piece of fucking chocolate? I don't drink, but even I'm not that much of a lightweight. Are you fucking serious? She said one whole fucking piece, bro. One? Just one? That's not The fuck were you doing? I drink once in a blue moon. <sighs> I mean, we did get a bit of uh If you know what I mean. I'm gonna have to add, I'm gonna have to add that sound effect. The anime titty groping sound effect, bro. No, I did it. Oh, it's a walk anymore. You can I meet I see. You got a little kid to crash them or alcohol. We're safe, lads. For now. House rules, huh? Oh, no. Sure. Oh, you you just dug yourself a grave, bro. I don't got the mini oak got us no hair. Okay. Okay. I mean, that kind of information okay. isn't really necessary to share anyway, so... You... My lips are already sealed on that one, even before you even said shit. Sure. I mean, I guess that's fair. I mean, how, 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 how much am I willing to bet that you won't even fucking do it on the weekends anyway, given the shit that I saw when I walked into the fucking house? Okay, wait, hey! So you're only cleaning on Saturday and Sunday, dude. I wouldn't complain. I wouldn't complain about it at this point. Hey, yo! Thank you for that host, Prez. Really appreciate that, bro. Oh God! You ain't gotta go. You ain't gotta go there now. Come on. A nerd, huh? Hi. So, to kimatara, sasa to hea no soji ni tori kakaru. Yeah, the ones that yo ass laid around? You better pick them shits up. Those were here when I fucking got here. That is all your shit. Mm. <sighs> oh, you bitch! Find me tri- I don't know what that fucking word is. Tripes' back up the stairs? To her room. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to clean every weekday, huh? Let's see how well this shit turns out. I mean, if you just maintain it, you really ain't gotta do much. I mean, if you just maintain it every... Uh, if you just maintain it every day throughout the week, you won't have to do much in the following days. But there's also the chance that she's going to purposely leave shit around just to make more work for us. That's the only thing. Given how fucking lazy we just saw, how given how much of a fucking slob we saw that she is, it might be more hell than it's worth. And this is the bizarre way my life in Mihate Town began. 
Hey, wait. Ain't today Sunday? Wow. Just fucking left me. God, this girl's an asshole, bro. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is who we're living with? And we got exams on the first day of school. Come on, bro. This shit. <laughs> if this was me, bro, I'd be fucking done <laughs> already. First day of school, we already got ourselves a test. Oh, it's vocab, man. カオリンがなんか新しいクラブを作ったって話聞いたかまだ正式な部活動じゃないみたいなんだけどウスカオリン民族学研究会とか言ってたかあの先生と一緒にいられるだけで得だよなどんな活動するのか知らねえけどウィ
I bow quickly. I need to get in here and dip. I'm trying to get some ice cream. Hey, ice cream, baby. What kind you craving, melodic? Uh, I'm sure he's unfamiliar with the. Oh, okay. Oh, it, yes. I look around through slightly downcast eyes. My heart begins beating faster. Maybe I am nervous after all. My name is Debo Jr. I'm pleased to meet you all. I say that and bow. There's a small scattering of claps. Dairy Queen closes at 11. If I can get a blizzard, that would be heat. Ooh, nice, bro. Uh-oh. Somebody's got a question. A boy raises his hand energetically. Uh, hello there. You look like... What does he look like? He looks like a lot of characters. He looks like a lot of characters. This is probably what Roy would look like if he tried to become a gangster. <laughs> Speaking of Roy, there he is down there. <laughs> Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. <laughs> Damn. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> the entire classroom bursts into laughter. This dude must be the class clown. Or perhaps the troublemaker. He's ginger. Jesus didn't die for him. God damn. <laughs> he has no soul. Jesus, bro. Fucking shots fired, bro. Alright. <laughs> I bow again and make my way to the back of the class. The other students throw me curious looks. Nah, Tenkose. Oh my. Kono Kuras de Cho Raki Jane. Super lucky? Oh, how? Is that right? He starts talking to me as soon as I sit down. Super Madonna. I mean, yes, yeah, she's hot. With his encouragement, I take another look at my homeroom teacher, Miss Yamashiro. This dude is hella shrimping right now, bro. Masculine desires. This nigga saying all this shit out loud, dude. I know, right? That shit is creepy. At least try, at least say it in your head, bro. Or be a little quieter. Kensuke Asagi. Kensuke Asagi. Kensuke Asagi. Oh, uh, he's got one too. So it's not just the waifus. He sticks his hand out, and I find myself shaking it instinctively. Please do, Sensei. Facts, bro. The class laughs again. I guess he is the class clown. I remember one year, I remember one year I tried to be, I was, I tried being the class clown, bro. Didn't go too well. I ended up getting in trouble. Fuck it, I'm getting that blizzard right now. I got an hour to kill. Hey, ain't no time like the present, bro. The sound of Ms. Yamashiro writing on the chalkboard fills the room. I feel everyone's attention shifting from me. It's sort of a liberating sensation.
Sorry, I thought I heard something for a minute. Is there some meaning behind my being here? The lukewarm wind of June blows in from the window. I slowly close my eyes and focus on the sensation of the wind on my cheek. Damn, bro, falling asleep on the first day? With a hot teacher? Come on. At that moment, I feel the sting of a freezing cold gaze hitting me from the opposite direction. Mm hmm? If I test... I'm going out with satisfy... Damn, bro. You got this, bro. I... I think things are... I believe things are going to go well. Don't count yourself out just yet, you know? Oh, you. From the back of the classroom, by the door, a girl is staring at me with a strong and shivering deucing glare. What the... It's only for a moment. She suddenly turns face to face the blackboard. We just... We, we, fuck you looking at we just go pretend like nothing happened there all right bro whatever fuck it <laughs> the fuck y'all looking at it was like she was looking directly into my heart i've been stabbed by that glare once before the night i arrived in this town my heart begins to pound even harder than when I was standing at that lectern earlier. I feel this game will have me go to hell? Oh god. Well, so far we figured out that the town we're in is cursed. And that this year marks 100 years since the last known zombie apocalypse and that there's another one on the way. That's pretty much all I've gathered so far. Alright, we saved. My long first day of being a transfer student is coming to an end. Kensuke Asagi is more meddling than I had imagined. No. He's more generous than I'd imagined. He taught me everything from the lockers to purchasing lunch tickets. Mystery club? So. Does this game let you smash? I have no idea, bro. This is my first time playing it. I hope so. Because if so, I'm going straight for the teacher. Recruiting a few students as a trial. Oh, shit. The Tribal Studies Research Club, also called the Mystery Club. The Mystery Club, a club formed to research mysteries. Well, no shit. Formerly known as the Tribal Studies Research Club and su excuse me, supervised by the social studies teacher, Kaori Yamashiro, this club has yet to be recognized as an official school activity, and Miss Yamashiro established the club as a pilot program in the hopes of getting it officially established next year. Miss Yamashiro is personally recruiting new members. That's weird. Wouldn't it be called the Tribal Club? Ancient questions, huh? Marude! Mystery Kenku Kai! Mystery! Mystery Research. So it's Mystery Club for short. So you got it. Kari was a Nihonshu no sensei, and the Senmon was a Minzoku Gakurashinda. Minzoku Gakurte, or a Zenzen Shiranenda Gedosa. I think it's pretty self-explanatory there, Kensuke. You said Miss Yamashita was recruiting people for the club. Does that mean she's not accepting applications? So A lot of guys, huh? Hella shrimps in the We got hella shrimps in here, bro. Hella tier threes. Oh. A hot streak? Oh, so she's a novelist as well. 
この見果て帳の読み人伝説をモチーフにした電気小説な。Damn, title drop again. World End, a young adult romance novel written by Kaori Yamashiro. We heard about this earlier. A young teacher at Mihate High School. Taking place in Mihate Town, this novel is based on the Yomibito legend. Miss Yamashiro's debut novel became very popular due to the good reviews on the internet and word of mouth. And the book is even being adapted into a movie. Oh, damn. Netflix adaptation inbound? No, I'm kidding. Let me stop. It's a. Wow. Wow, she's not letting you in? Did you want to get in, Kensuke? At this rate, we shouldn't have even asked that question. So, she's not letting you in. Did you want to get in, Kensuke? Damn, bro, an essay? Nice. <laughs> what am I fucking talking about? That's not nice at all. You're such. Really? He stops right there, then leans in. Close to whisper to the rest to me. Miss Ken Yera Bareta Puiwa Konoka Kotemo Tuba Nukete Pijo Soro in Nano de Are. Hey, tell me more. <laughs> this guy is speaking my fucking language. I like this guy. Is that right? Ma, I said as I say, I'm taking you. I wrote it on Monday. I didn't like it. Person out, damn, bro. <laughs> you better be lucky they ain't around to hear that. Huh? Oh, uh, no, I'm not interested in tribal studies or mystery clubs. <laughs> Nigga, did you not hear what this man just fucking said? He literally said this club is filled to the brim. With waifus, bro. How the fuck are you going to just reject it outright without giving it any thought? Are you stupid? This guy's a fuck. Man, this pro tag is a fucking pussy. Ah, so that on that. I am ashamed that the I'm ashamed to give this pro tag my name. He grabs my arm and starts walking. Uh, hey, wait. He, t he totally is, but I agree with him anyway. Just shut the fuck up and follow his lead. You're saying it loud and clear, Kinsuke. And this nigga's a bitch. Kinsuke forcefully pulls me along, and we come to the building concentrated with specialized classrooms. I see a plaque reading social studies study room. I sigh. Sorry, Kensuke, but I don't intend to join the club in the first place. Oh my fucking god, bro. Yeah, I know, right? Not exactly. Anyway, I don't plan on joining... <laughs> Fucking tell him, bro. Best friend. Nope, never heard of it. Where the fuck did you hear that? <laughs> Uh,
わかったなら一度見学してみろ話はそれからだ行くぞアイボーあ、uh, no. Wait. Kitsuke reaches for the door. Yes. 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 Her voice sticks in my eardrums and a pleasant fragrance sticks in my nose. Wandering new kid. Hmm. I turn around to see Kaori Yamashiro. Oh,、uh, hi. 初日から部活巡りだなんて関心ね。最近は帰宅部を選ぶ子も多いのに、ね。That's exactly what this nigga was gonna do too. See, see, you getting props. You getting fucking props. Stay. Oh, um, it's not what it looks like. Kensuke forced me here. <laughs> Kensuke reaches around from behind me and covers my mouth with his hand. Oh. I hope them shits are washed, bro. Ugh. Hokanokrabunimakyominite. <laughs> He's just got his hand over his mouth. Them hands better be washed, bro. Ah, t h a t e s a d o t k e n s u k e what the f? I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 I'm not sure what I'm s a y 12年の中から何人か私の方から声をかけた程度に、mm. Well, it's true that unofficial clubs really have no need for that kind of shit anyway わかってますって活動内容はまあいろいろねこの世界の謎を民族学をベースに研究をしていく The world's mysteries, huh? わかりやすいかな Vague, but interesting なあミステリー研究会だろミステリー研究会だと遊びのサークルみたいでしょ学校の許可も下りにくいしなので民族学研究会 Isn't that a bit long though? 略してミスケン略称なんか何でもいいわよまあとにかく部員を増やすつもりはないんだけど転校生くん Yes? Yeah, <laughs> see, called the line. Moshi, Anata ni Kyomiga Aruno Nara. Tokubitsuni, new Bushin so Stagamashoka. Special. Ooh. I like the way that sounds. A special entrance screening, bro. <laughs> Let me stop. What? Kamajikayo! New Bushan so Honto ni Kita! Matashiwa ne? あなたにちょっとだけ興味があるの。Oh, really? Miss Yamashiro smiles brightly. 私の専攻は日本民族学よ。っていうと、とても難しそうに聞こえるけどそうじゃないの。Oh, really? この小さな島国で日本人がどんな価値観でその命を全うしてきたか。いやー、カオリンわかるわー。よくわからないけどわかるわー。How the fuck? All right, Kensuke. そうね。もっと簡単に言うならば。Oh, red velvet cake blizzard? Yo, that sounds delicious. And I love red velvet cake. That's like my second favorite cake of all time. A red velvet blizzard. Damn. Hope you're enjoying. Glad you're enjoying that, bro. Ooh, that sounds good. Mmm. この見果て町には。読み人伝説というものがあ、yes、this legend。死したものがまたこの世に現れる。そんな人は死から目をそらしてはいけない。そんな思いがこの伝承には込められている気が私にはするの。Humans can't ignore death. That's a hard hitting line right there. うん。もしあなたが私のクラブに興味があるなら、論文を書いて持ってきなさい。
Shit. We gotta write an essay. We gotta write an essay, bro. Oh. How many pages? Then again, how many pages is the average thesis? Oh, boy. あなたの論文はこの前読んだわよ。なかなかの対策で感心したけど、あれ、残念ながら論文とは言わないわ。ああ、damn。ああいうラブレターは私じゃなくて、クラスの女子にでも書いてあげなさい。the themes weren't compatible. Oh, God. The theme, huh? Anataga. Nani de dictator noca. Bro. What you may. Dude. Alright. Time to confess something real quick. The fact that she said that, and I mentioned that I finished a, a song earlier. The song I call the song that I finished. It's called "Show Me What You're Made Of." What a fucking coincidence, dude! I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna release it tomorrow. It's gonna it's '80s theme too. Can't wait for y'all to hear it. It'll be on you. It'll be on my YouTube tomorrow. What are you made of? What makes you tick? What do you mean by tick? Hmm. What I'm made of. Hmm. I feel a piercing sensation in my heart. What am I? I'm working on an early 2000s pop punk track. Ooh. Nice. What am I? I. Uh oh, who the hell is that? Oh, it's you. It's her. That girl from class. The one who stared at me. Or so I thought. Oh, uh, me, you. She's a bit of a. She sounds like a bit of a passive one. Miu Amina. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, there's her intro. Hmm. I lower my head slightly as if to say hello. But Miu seems to have no intention of making eye contact with me at all. You don't have to say it out loud, Kensuke. Hmm. Miu san? Yeah. Let the fucking president decide who gets in. She smiles slightly again, then goes into the study room with Miyu Amina. I came across the best suggest song title, Drink. What? Melodic, are you serious? <laughs> are you kidding me? Drink my piss? Is that a real song title? Like, who the hell made that? What the fuck? That's hilarious. Once the two of them are gone, Kensuke Asagi points his mouth, opens his mouth once more. Yeah, I noticed. I don't know if I'd go that far yet. Those are all some pretty serious slanders. Oh god, I know that voice. Ah, my... 
ほら言ってごらんなさいよ私はどんな性格だってのおっ let me answer that one please I would love to cause we'll be here for a good half an hour おちつけまいに俺がお前の性格を的確に答えたところでそれが何になる俺とお前の未来に暗い影を落とすだけだ、oh, seems like he's got, it seems like he's got some words for it too お前それ私をディスる気満々だなだってそうだろう今更俺がお前を黙ってりゃ可愛いのに短気でズボラでガサツな残念女子と言ったところで Nigga, why are you saying that out loud? You dumbass You're only cute if you're quiet or you're a violent slot damn, bro Yep, there it is <laughs> That's one hell of a punch. Anta, Kona Otokoto Tsurunder to Rokana Kotonayo. He must go and will keep the whole way. Uh, thanks for the warning. Ah, Mami, whom I none the goods no Kotosterunda? Kyo Tenko stick the bakari does all? Itokonanda, yo, Tabin, eh? I thought we weren't supposed to mention that, and yet you said it out loud. You were the one who laid down that fucking rule that we weren't supposed to mention that we was cousins in school. Yet here you are saying it out loud. Double standard much? I was watching a documentary and one of the band members suggested the title Drink My... <sighs> oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, what the fuck? You literally told me... Not to mention that we was cousins in school. And what do you fucking do? You literally say it out loud in front of Kensuke. Uh, you know this is gonna spread like wild... You know this rumor is gonna spread like wildfire. Mimi, I thought you didn't want anybody knowing that. Oh, it's too late. Once it's out there, it starts to spread. You know how this shit works. Or do you? Yeah, it's too fucking late now. Is this novel based on school days? I hope not. Uh, I'm not gonna be a dick. He's actually pretty cool. Three letters, huh? Good luck. Mimi, Yamero, son of Muchana Sagan or Moker Kse. That is definitely way more than fucking three letters. That's seven. Omara, Itokoto Shitakoto. I hold my tongue and look at Mimi. So She's just airing out everything that we were not supposed to fucking talk about. That same band has a song about shooting blood from. What the hell type of documentary is this? What is going on here? <laughs> because of that. It was about Cannibal Corpse. Is that the name of the band? Oh no. See, this is why you shouldn't have said this shit, Mimi. That is, oh. See, this is why you shouldn't have said shit, Mimi. Because now, <laughs> the, what, are, what are the chances that he's going to go around spreading this shit? So, and you were the very, and you were the same one saying, you Saying, you better not go around sharing this shit around school. You hear me? Like, she was lit, like, nigga, 
She was literally the one fucking trying to threaten my life over sharing this shit in school. Yet she just airs it out casually in front of this nigga. Like, <laughs> come on, dude. What, what the fuck is this? What she said. They're actually really nice to their fans and great musicians, but one of their OG members wrote the craziest lyrics. Ooh. <laughs> Almost reminds me of the Wu-Tang Clan. They always wrote crazy shit. But it, they were some bangers, though, you know? Look, look at this shit. Mm. You shouldn't have said nothing if you was worried about that. Fucking dumb bitch. I've already had my ass kicked. Oh, they do like a side profile. Okay, okay. Okay, that's nice. I like that. Ignoring the bewildered Kensuke, Mayumi cheerfully runs to her friends. They have a song called Entrails Ripped From My... Ripped From... Oh. Can't say that? I can't say the V word. <laughs> but damn. What the hell? Jesus, bro. Ignoring the bewildered Kensuke, Mayumi cheerfully runs to her friends. She turns back about halfway. I hope I don't get in trouble by that being in chat either. Please, for the love of God, Twitch ninjas, have mercy. Uh, get that bat. <laughs> Kensuke, no. That is not. Twitch, it's my fault. I mean, we should be fine. Uh, we're not using it. We're not using it to insult anybody. Really? Which I think was one of the main reasons why it became a banned word. You, Hey, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Honestly, I think one, I think one of the main... Uh, conditions behind it was you can't use it to insult anybody and that's not the context so i think we should be fine shout out to all the viewers by the way hope y'all are having a wonderful friday evening this is the book howding wrote i had kensuke show me to the library it's completely separate from the main buildings and looks like a real library uh we're outside unless we're outside of the library I mean, I'd imagine if it's sold that well, there are plenty of other places that have copies of the book, Kensuke. Point is, Cannibal has some crazy ass songs. Yep. <laughs> world End, The End of the World. The book seems to be of the notion that Mihati Town lies between the Earth and Hell. Somewhere in this town is a gateway to the Yomotsu Hirasaka. Huh. Yomotsu Hirasaka. It's a hill leading from the living world to the world of the dead. It's said to be in the west. Hmm.
All right, we're back. I put up a sign. God damn it. Let's see the radio. Hikaru Sukioka, the talk show host of Mihate Town's local radio program World End Syndrome, her soft, whispery voice is gaining popularity among young audiences and ASMR fans. Little is known about her besides her name, and her identity is largely unknown and shrouded in mystery. カオリンの出した本の影響で始まったらしい。ワールドエンドブームはついにラジオ番組まで作っちまったってわけだ。あ、ナトウチガディヴァ。あ、ウィンゲ。イウズインスパイアドバイカオリンズブック。オー、ザ
Hmm. I slammed the book shut there. This is, this is bullshit. Just some old fairy tale. I turn off the lights and slip into bed. What the fuck? So... Uh, Sora... I jolt awake in a pitch black room. A dream. I realize that I'm drenched in sweat and wipe my brow. Huh? It was the radio. I must have fallen asleep with it still on. What the fuck is happening? Path. あなたにその道は示されている。Path. <sighs> I jump out of bed and head to the desk. I take a pen in hand. What I am made of. I place a bunch of paper on the desk and start running my pen along it. Hey, we getting that essay done, boys. We're not like SpongeBob, where it just takes us all the way till the fucking last minute. That episode is hilarious, by the way. An old one, too. <laughs>人がいかに目に見えないものを敬い、生活に取り入れてきたか。民族学っていうのは人生をどう解釈するのかということでもあるのね。先生、今年は読み人が読み返るんでしょ。そうね。昔この町で起きた読み人の惨劇から今年で100
That's horrible. Not sure that's something really to fucking just casually gossip about. Class with the cameo? Pokemon Shield? Ooh, the back pro oh, the back profile? Okay. What's wrong? I take an envelope from my bag and hand it to Miss Yamashiro. Oh yeah, I wrote my paper. Yes. What? Is it, 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 it does it fucking suck? Oh, Tenko Seo. Uh-oh, what happened? It ain't like that. What, did I write? Did this nigga write a whole fucking light novel, dude? Like, come on. She said a thesis, not a fucking encyclopedia. Hold on, I need to pull up something real quick. YouTube coon, where are you at? Oh boy, here we fucking go with this. Hopefully this doesn't fuck up my stream. Because if it does, I'm going to be pissed. Alright, give me one second. This is important. But yeah, let me find out this dude wrote a whole fucking encyclopedia for uh his thesis like you're just trying to get into a club dude not college you got a whole motherfucking year and a half for that let's see where's that shit at all right there it is all right we can continue now Kensuke also looks surprised by the papers Miss Yamashiro pulled out of the envelope. What the fuck? Why? See, he did. Oh my goodness, bro. I sort of rushed it, so it might be a little hard to read. Dude, he didn't have to overdo it. Miss Yamashiro stares at me. The theme. Life and death are two sides of the same coin. That's deep, yeah. Mm. Oh gosh, she's laughing. I don't like the sound of that. It's not a compliment? Miss Yamashiro stops abruptly. God damn it, I wanted to know what I was. Uh, thank you. Passion. Hmm. It ain't like that. I don't know. I felt like the pen was moving on its own. Hmm. Auto what? Dude. You know something? I've been through that a lot of times when writing papers back in high school. I just let whatever, I just go with the, uh, I just like get in tune with whatever the fucking uh, prompt is. And just go and just go in. They even still I hate writing back then. Like even though some of my teachers say they liked my writing, like I just fucking I didn't like doing it at all. Huh. You know about some pretty weird subjects. I was starting to think you only ever I was starting to think you only ever thought about girls. And 
and we're back to square one. <laughs> this man, Kensuke, is... This man, Kensuke, is, knows what's up. <laughs> Kensuke, that's a fucking crime. I forgot what crime that was, but yeah, he's right. <laughs> That Kensuke. <laughs> that Kensuke, what is this? A fucking sitcom, bro? He fools around, but he seems to be but he seems to be secretly serious about tribal studies. Damn, she just exposed his ass? A four? Out of what? A hunt? Damn. If that's out of a hundred, bro, GG's. GG's next grade. I take that back. God damn, this nigga got a four. Not even I have scored that low on any on an exam before. A few boys and girls are hanging around by the school gate. To be exact, four boys are surrounded. Oh man. As I try to pass that group. Oh, hello. Who are you? Miss? Oh, hello. 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 See, these are the type of niggas you should never be. These are the type of niggas you should never be. Oh, we got a CG. Hey, Oh, does it sound familiar? It seems like a bunch of older boys are harassing a freshman student. The girl looks distraught. The laughter of the male student stings my ears. One of the boys grabs the girl by her wrist. She means it. Hey, Kensuke. Nah. I should. What the fuck kind of question is this? Fuck them niggas, bro. What are you doing? I asked what the fuck you guys are doing. What? Am I doing something wrong here? Is that the right expression you're thinking of? Well, you're kind of harassing a girl who ain't interested in your ass, so... Yeah! I can see where the beef lies. You bitch. What's up, cuz? Let's throw them, mother Let's throw them fucking hands, bro. What's up, you stupid bitch? No, I'm kidding. Virtual Debo would probably get his fucking ass whooped. Pathetic indeed. No fucking kidding. Describe your version of talking in full detail, please. She doesn't look like she appreciates it. My eyes are pretty damn good. The four boys turn around towards me and Kinsuke. One of them keeps holding the girl's arm so she can't run away. 
あ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
I I'm fine. I really didn't help her anyway. Saizo? Or Saizo? Saya rushes towards the car. She suddenly stops and turns around, then stomps over to me. What? I thought we already agreed on this. Do we really have to reiterate that? I don't owe you shit, you don't owe me shit. We pretty much established this. What's this game about? Uh, apparently, this game is about a uh, zombie apocalypse. Is is well, the main, the whole main, uh, the the game is. Let let me, fucking English, Debo. <laughs> it seems that this game is centered around some urban legend within this town that this that the protag is staying in. That every one hundred years. There's a fucking zombie apocalypse. Hmm. I'm loving the stream. Hey, thank you, bro. I just want I wanted to see how this works versus what I've been doing. And I think I kind of like this. So I kind of like uh, this version so far. So I'm going to keep this for a while unless I want to change it again, which probably won't be for a long time. But yeah, I figured, you know, I'd have you guys, I'd have you guys right below me. Like, right there, that way you guys can, you know, because I want you guys a part of the show as well, you know? <laughs> as involved as you guys are in my streams, like, it's only fair that you guys, you know, get to be a part of it. Like, actually a part of it on screen. And then I just put Roy there for shits and giggles. <laughs> and then all my socials down there next to my name, which is pretty much my name on all my socials, so it just makes it easier. But, back to this. It's been a minute since I've been here. Feels good. Hey. Glad you could, glad you could make it, bro. Really means a lot. Hope you're having a good Friday, Zach. Oh, yeah? What's someone so high and mighty doing in Mihate Town? お前何も知らんのな。神城堂は今じゃ世界的ブランドかもしんないけど、今の社長が一台でこの見果て町から起こした企業なんだよ。大きくなってから本社は都市部に移したんだけど。I was chilling and finally made the last purchase to my PC, so I'm glad. Hey, nice, bro. You getting it? You getting ready to start getting it built? この町が潤ってるのは上白堂のおかげだと言ってもいい。それくらい三波町に影響を与えてるな。Cool. I don't care about getting hit once or twice. Where are we going? Hmm. Save? Yes. Oops. Alright. It's June 4th. Let's keep going. We keep walking in the direction away from the ocean. I have no idea where Kensuke's planning to take me, but I'm beginning to realize something about this town. Kensuke, what's the significance of those? Those? I point at the clicking, spinning things. The residential district is all around us, and almost every gate or porch has pinwheels decorating it. Pinwheels. These pinwheels can be seen decorating various locations within Mihate Town. There is an old tradition of placing them near houses in order to deter the Yomibito from entering them. Oh. 
this sounds like some Passover type. This sounds like some Passover type shit, like where you paint the lamb, where you paint the lamb's blood all over your uh, door sill, so the evil spirits don't fucking kill you. At least according to what is it? I don't want to get it wrong. I'm going to say it was either based around Judaism or Christianity. Could be one of those two. See, I'm not really religious in the slightest. I'm not really that religious in the slightest. So, whichever one it is, it's based on that one. Now I need the monitors and mouse and keyboard and headset. Then I can start building and making content while repping the DC. Hey, you want? Hey, you just that just means you're getting your steps. You're getting one step closer, bro, by getting that final part. And then once you start, like, saving up and getting that other stuff, you'll finally be able to start doing your own thing, too. And that's in Christianity? Okay. I'm excited to start playing games with y'all. Hey, the more the merrier, bro, you know? Okay, so... Got the facts on the, uh, the pinwheels there. Religion has entered the chat, and that's... Yep, and now it's going to leave the chat again. <laughs> Let's see. They're in many colors. Red, blue, yellow, and violet. The sea breeze pushes through them, making a dry sound. Why the hell are you talking like that? The Yomibito. Again with World End? Oi, oi. World End is not true. So it seems. Yes, we've established this. Orewa Yomi Bito repelling pinwheels. Hmm. Ooh. Is that a restaurant? There is a narrow, unpaved path of head ahead of us. A lodge style building is there, the forest to its back. The greenery in the background makes the scene endearing. A hey, peach with the emo baby. The sign in front of it reads Café Pastiche. Café Pastiche. A café surrounded by greenery, owned and operated by Yamato Amana. Yamato... I think it's Amana. I don't want to say Amana because that sounds too white. This café is meant to be a hangout for students, or rather it sounds too American. This café is meant to be a hangout for students from Mihate High, but due to its location far from the train station... It only attracts the locals. Under Yamato's suggestion, his younger sister Miyu greets guests wearing a costume that makes her popular with the boys. But her attitude is thorny. A niche group of male students finds this very attractive anyway. Thanks to that, the cafe's business is doing well. Cafe Pasutishu. Tushio. Miyu Cafe. No more facts. Miyu Cafe. Another name for Café Pastiche. Thought up by Kensuke Asagi. Once you visited the cafe, you'll understand why. Okay. Miyu Cafe. Why is that? Oh, I missed the facts, damn it. The employees. The ocean Cafe, huh? Yeah, that's it. Hey, Becky with the cameo on Smash. Think she's getting some train. I think she's getting some training in. It's been a while since I've seen her play Ultimate. 
Let's see. Okay. Hmm. I didn't think this cool place he was talking about would be a cafe, so I'm a little shocked. Oh my. ここが体験型アトラクションだ。少なくとも俺はそう考えている。ガチャ。それじゃ、シートベルトの用意はいいな。振り落とされんなよ。I followed the oddly excited Kensuke into the cafe. I rhymed. いらっしゃい. An energetic voice comes firing out from the back as out of the back of the room as we open the door. There's a man with long hair standing behind the counter. Must be the cafe's owner. Okay. There are a decent amount of people already inside. I see some school uniforms too. We take a seat at a table along with along the wall and I open the menu. You don't need to see the menu. You don't need to see the menu, Kensuke? I look for coffee in the menu. 150 yen. Tax not included. That's like a buck fifty, ain't it? That's cheap. Due to love and relationships. This nigga's broke because he's shrimping so much. Aren't love and relationships the same thing? I hold back from actually asking, though. What about this cafe as a full-body attraction, Kensuke? Kensuke, I have no idea what you're... Oh my god! Yo! That's adorable. For a moment, I forget how to breathe. <gasps> this nigga had a heart. This nigga had a heart attack by cuteness. Nope, still not breathing. At least I don't think I am. It's. Yo, Amana. Ore, coffee ne. Coffee. I think I was dazed for a good minute. Oh, nani tanomanda? Snap out of it. Snap out of it, Virtual Devo. Miu Amina's eyes are captivating me. I'm utterly dumbfounded by them. She does have lovely eyes. Oh, uh... Um... Uh... Coco. I have no idea why I ordered a Coco. 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 Oh, God. This nigga's daydreaming again. She places two glasses of ice water on the table, then walks away to the counter without another word. I mean, I don't know about this motherfucker right here, Virtual Debo, but Real Debo knows. Real Debo always knows. I sure do. So, Hey. この店は天を Now that voice sounds a little too familiar. Oh, get ready, boys. We've got another encounter with Mimi. The door slams open and several female students come in. All of them are holding rackets. This must be the tennis club. One of them is certainly more distinctive than the rest. Why? Am I not supposed to be here? But, Mimi? 
もう部活は終わったのかマイクス、What the fuck? ああ、私こっち寄ってくから、後でそっち行くわ。ああ、she must be、uh, talking to her friends. Yep. My mate calls out to the rest of her club crew, then she drops into the seat next to mine. She's giving off a perplexing scent. Citrus fragrant. Citrus fragrance. Tinged with sweat. Why the fuck are you so fixated on smelling people, bro? What the hell is that nickname? Mike's? Oh, that's my w You know, she's not gonna give a shit, bro. And Mimi chugs my entire glass of water. That was my water. Hey, it just happens. Jesus Christ, my face looks so fucking weird without the glasses on. I'm looking back at my stream and looking at my mug, dude. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Uh, whatever. This man shrimped even on my me, dude. Nikare. The nickname for Rei Nikai. Rei Nikaido. Team ace and central star of the popular idol group Zetai Zetsume Panda. Online, her name is reduced to. Her name is reduced in shorthand to 2KD0. Alright. She recently made her debut as an actress and volunteered to play the lead role in the film adaptation of the popular novel World End. Alright, so we know who is playing the lead role now. She is visiting Mihate Town this summer while the movie is being filmed. Oh shit. Hey, Amber with the cameo, Animal Crossing. Got tricked into asking her out. Sure you did, bro. Tricked, huh? And you're just gonna say that out loud right in front of her, knowing what happened last time you said that shit. She says, pouring the remaining ice into her mouth and crunching noisily. If I'm being brutally honest here, Kensuke, no. I wasn't expecting that shit at all. In response, I say... Yeah, let's not mention the titty groping, please. Not really. In other words, he's just being polite instead of just outright saying you guys are loud as fuck. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at the chat. Look at this chad. <laughs> Uh, he must be speaking to me. Oh, yeah. Debo Jr., nice to meet you. <laughs> let me try and say it. Let me try and say it the right way. Watashi no Debo Jr. This. Yoroshiku Tanamoyo. Yamato Amana. 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 Amana Miu no Oh. 
はいご注文のコーヒーとココアねまみちゃんアイスティーはミルクだよねさすがありがとうマスターの入れたミルクティーは最高だよ I've never had milk tea Is it good? もしかして君転校生くんかい Are you the new? Yes, I am. The owner gives me a puzzled look. Uh, yes. Yeah, me who got a Hanashi or Kiterio. Onaji class number tena. Otonashi at the Kito. Yoroshka Tanamio. Heard of me, huh? From me, you Amina? Gora, Henji, Henji. Oh, uh, yes, likewise. The owner smiles and returns to the counter. Hey, some things you just don't. Hey, some traits you just don't share similarly with your siblings, you know? You know, one sibling could be like the sweetest person in the world, and the other sibling could be a complete bitch. It just happens. Really? m i m i stands up, glass and racket in hand. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the cleaning. You don't want to know, Kensuke. I think that information is rather better off remaining private, if you know what I mean. Hmm. While I watch Mimi rejoin her group, I tell him. I'm just the cleaning dude. I'm just the how I'm just the I well, actually, I don't think I should say that. <laughs> Given the historical context behind the next two words I was about to say, I don't think that would have been appropriate. <laughs> But still. If Jay's watching, Jay knows exactly what I mean. <laughs> hey, Potter Puff with the cameo. Mario Kart. Ugh. I find myself lying on the couch on the porch. I must have fallen asleep. Yeah, Jay knows. Jay knows. <laughs> A dream. A dream. Uh oh, she's back. Hey, Jalen on Mario Kart 2 with the cameo. It sounds like Mimi's back. And I stand up and open the door to the living room. Welcome back. Mimi is sniffing around with her eyes closed. Oh, curry. Oh, man. God damn it. Now I'm hungry. Good thing I have pizza next to me. And I'll be eating it after, and I'll be eating it after the stream. I made a lot. You want some? Frozen pot. Oh. Someone needs to unban me in his chat? Oh, <laughs>、uh, yeah. The age, the DC tradition. Let's see. She said, OMG, bro. What does she transform into a valley girl? Yes, yes, OMG. Oh my god, dude. This girl is something else. Curry's super simple. Is it now? I really want to、really、make curry one day. Like a good one. Time to dig in? Hey. Have you eaten already? Uh. No, not yet. You banned in my chat, bro? Damn. Are you? Is he? I don't know. I mean, 
I've been banned for like eight months. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it's been so long, Jay forgot. <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I don't like the sound. I don't like the tone of that, honestly. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Hey. Hey, at least the man. Hey, at least the man's can. Oh, you, Jay didn't ban him. Oh, I think somebody else might have. The question is who? Because it definitely, it definitely wasn't me. It wasn't me, and it wasn't Jay. How do I unban him? Uh, I guess the next. Uh, you remember who it was? Who was it, Zach? I guess the next time you stream, Jay, uh, take a look at your stream manager and look at, uh, see if you can find your banned users list and see if you find Zach's name. Hey, Peach with the cameo, copping on Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, just see if you can, uh, go through your banned users list in your stream manager. Actually, you can do it right now if you, uh, got the time. If you're at your computer. Just go to your uh, your creator dashboard on Twitch. Potatoes and curry. Hmm. Hey, at least the hey, hey, the first time virtual Debo is actually getting some props. The man's can cook. You know what they say, ladies love a man who can make some good ass food. True, I've heard curry can be a bit universal when it comes to what time of year you make it. Oh, that's the hide the text button. But at the end of the day, I'm the all-time leader in bands, I mean. <laughs> yep. You pretty much are. Within the DC. Where do I go from stream manager? Uh, let me see. Because I'm about to do it too. Alright, let's go. I think, uh... Oh, fucking hell. My computer's being slow. My computer can't run the stream and fucking navigate through all this shit at one time. Um, Jay, uh, if you want to hold on after the stream, I'll, I'll show you. I'll, uh, if you're in, if you're in VC, I'll show you in there. But I'm pretty much going to go for another 15 minutes. But I got you, bro. Can I go for seconds? Sure, but... You talk a lot. <laughs> the shut the fuck up and eat type. <laughs> it's all good, though. It was funny as hell. Hey, at least you're a good sport about it. Just hop on and Zach, why you ain't tell me? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Going so long, dude. Going so long, banned in Jay's chat. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. Mm. Plenty more. Yo, morning, morning after curry? I couldn't tell you. I think he. I think he was under the notion that he was just gonna get banned again. Yeah. Uh, I guess if you want, you can tell him in Discord, Zach. She brings her second plate to the to the table. She immediately takes a bite. Hmm. Oh, nothing. 
I feel like I've never seen you laugh like that. Okoshi? It's better that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Virtual Debo trying to be smooth. Okay, I see you. But take it easy, bro. It's your cousin. Oh, uh, sorry. Curry is fire. Curry is fire. Fact. Can you text me when you do? I mean, yeah, sure. My father makes the best curries. Nice, bro. Save? Yes. All right. My name is Debo Jr. Nice to meet you. Um, Miss Yamashiro. Are these all club members? The club members? The social studies study room is a modest size. We're sitting around a large table. There are only two members. Trinidadian's undisputed best at curry. I have to try some authentic Trinidadian curry one day. If this game chooses your dialogue. You can, well, there are some parts where you can make decisions, but. Minzokakenkyukai even so, there are only two people in front of me. Both of them look familiar. I'm pretty sure I've... I think I'm Bandom. Oh, yes, um... Nice to see you again, Amana. E oh, yeah, we've definitely, I've definitely know that voice. We've met. I didn't expect her to be here, too. God damn it, you don't have to keep bringing that up. Oh, um, good to see you again. Let me guess. The sound of running footsteps approaches from the hallway. I can already tell who it is. I would like we... It's so obvious. We just can't get... We just can't get away from this girl, dude. Oh, come the fuck on. え、なんであんたがいるの?あなたを紹介したらおしまいよ。2年C組の楠瀬舞美さん。いや、no、right、Zach。働き。はい。部活までかぶるとかマジか。あら。I I was going to say that. もしもし、何か言いましたもしもし、何か言いましたもしもし、何か言いましたもしもし、何か言いましたもしもし、何か言いましたもしもし、何か言いましたもしもし、何か言いましたもしもし、何か言いましたもしもし、何か言いましたも
さやさそのマイミ姉さんってのやめてくれない the the、right. <笑>なんか極道のなんちゃらみたいで居心地悪いんだけど、boss. なんでしょうなぜかしっくりくるんですけどねミュウさんもそう思いませんさあ She doesn't give a shit, bro. ですよねミュウさんもそう思いますよね Alright, just speak for her, why don't you? これからもマイミ姉さんでお願いしますさやはもうミュウと会話する気ないだろう<笑>ちなみにもう一人一年生の子に声をかけてますこちらは決まり次第皆さんにご紹介しますねそれじゃ細かいことは部長から教えてもらってねじゃあ今日はこれで各自自由に Who's the manager?、Uh, excuse me? Club manager? あら言い忘れてたかしら、oh. Did I just hear what I think I heard bro? Did I hear what I think I heard? あら、言い忘れてたかしら。ミスケンの部長は。Oh, yes. 彼女よ。That classic. あら、言い、あら、言い、あら、言い忘れ、あら、言い、あら、言い、あら、言い忘れてた。I'm sorry. I needed to hear that multiple times. I knew she had that energy the moment I saw her. <laughs> oh, just more and more things. More and more things to love. Miss Yamashiro points to one of the girls. Oh, I see. Miyu Amina nods briefly with a sour look on her face. Save, yes. Okay, since we've reached a save point, I think I'm going to call it there.、Uh, I was originally planning to go for a couple more minutes, but I don't know when the next save point might be. Since, so, since we've reached this one, I'd say we've gone a solid two and a half hours. I think that's pretty good for a visual novel. So, that's where I'm going to call it. That's where I'm going to call it for this week of Visual Novel Fridays. We will be back with part two next Friday. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I'm actually kind of liking this game so far. c a u d i top choice right there. That auto, seal, that auto pretty much sealed it, bro. <laughs> Unless there's somebody who can give her a run for her money, she's my top choice right now.、Um, other than that, uh, uh, I don't know how tomorrow's going to go. I know I want to stream Hyrule Warriors. I know I really want to see h y r u l e I know I really want to continue Hyrule Warriors tomorrow.、Uh, but I'll just have to see how tomorrow goes as far as Sunday. Now, Sunday is a mix. Sunday, I have mixed feelings about because I know I, wanna, I really want to get back into Fire Emblem Three Houses. I really do. But those days just fucking. Like, cause I work, the, I, I, work, I work on Sundays and I work Saturdays and Sundays primarily, but Sundays be having me fucking drained. I really hope that doesn't happen because I really want to get back into that game. Cause I know a lot of people, I know there were quite a few people who were enjoying that series, and I don't just want to leave that series hanging dry. Cause Fire Emblem Three Houses is one of my newly favorite games of all time. So I don't want to drop that. But other than that, um, Other than that,、uh, Monday through Friday next week, we will be back on schedule with everything. And I will be back with Persona 4 Golden next Thursday.、Um, other than that, I don't really have any other announcements. I just want to get some thank yous out of the way, real q u I just want to、uh, do some quick thank yous, real quick, to Peach, Potter, Prez, and Dank for all the hosts today, and to Peach for the five biddies. And let me see, I think that's all on the list for today's stream. But yeah, thank you guys so much. And also, thanks to anybody and everybody who stopped by, showed some love, even lurked, even if you lurked, you know, it still means a lot that you, and I say this every time and I genuinely mean it. It means a lot that you guys take time out of your day to come watch, you know, come and hang out with me, even though <laughs> sometimes I feel as though I'm not really that much, that much entertaining to watch on my own. But 
it really means a lot that you guys still come that you guys still come by you know hang out talk talk to each other you know say hi uh it just it means more than words can express and i feel like i don't say that enough and i just want you guys to know that the continued love and support is greatly appreciated and you know we're slowly but steadily we're slowly but surely growing and i want to build one and i want to build for myself one of the best communities on earth honestly but other than that i want you guys to take care of yourselves have a good friday night and have a great weekend and much love to you